everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another installment of the Tame My Main series. I officially named it since I was doing all these testing hair products videos. I figure we'll consolidate them into this recurring series because you guys seem to like me testing random hair tools on this crazy head of hair I have. Today I'm going to be testing the Bedhead Curly Pops Hair Diffuser. This is a blow dryer with a built-in diffuser for curly and wavy hair. This is super affordable, only $30 to $32 at Ulta, and it is designed to really help get textured and wavy slash curly hair. So I'm going to test it out with my normal diffusing routine and see how it does compared to the diffuser that I normally attach to my huge blow dryer. Right off the bat, the pros are this is extremely lightweight. When you have like a full size pro hair dryer and then you add a diffuser attachment to it, it can be a little cumbersome. And I'm not one who typically blow dries my hair anyway, just because I have such thick hair, it takes forever and I don't have the patience for it. So if this can make the process easier, I'm all for it. As per usual, whether I'm air drying my hair or blow drying my hair, I do something to help define my curls. So I'm using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which you may have seen in my um, hair care routine video. I'm going to take my engagement ring off for this. Just one second. Just gonna leave that there. So I'm taking a pretty generous amount. I'm gonna rub it in my fingers and finger comb that through. This is gonna add a little bit of moisture too. It's got two types of oils in it. It's got protein in it, so it'll also kind of help act as a heat protectant. I'll just give it a little scrunch. Get some of that volume back in there. All right. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do some finger twists to help define these curls. And this is exactly what I do when I'm going for defined curls with my normal diffuser. Um, or when I'm air drying, really, I'll just finish at the finger twist and leave it like that. Alright, so now that we've got that set, I'm going to put my engagement ring back on. The Curly Pops diffuser has a few settings, pretty standard. We've got the cool blast of air, which will help set the style once we get it pretty dry. Um, hot, warm, and cool blasts of air, as well as high, low, and off. So I'm going to go ahead and do hot and high, because I do have such thick hair. And then once it's dry, I'm going to cool blast it a little bit, set it, and uh, fight frizz with that. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> dry now. I'm just going to add a little bit of moisture cream to it and especially my ends. Okay, so I'm definitely liking the end result, but there are definitely a few differences that I see between this and using my normal blow dryer with the diffuser attachment. And just a disclaimer, this is the third time that I'm using this diffuser. The first two times the results were so different that I really needed to get the hang of using it before I did this review so that I could actually speak on it honestly and genuinely. Now first of all, if you're not very familiar about what a diffuser is for, let me just go over that really quickly first. So the diffuser shape with the teeth and the kind of well in between the teeth, it helps curly and wavy hair really get that scrunch while you're drying as well as give you volume if you do this a little bit at the scalp. I know you probably saw that in the blow drying segment. Typically, the standard way of doing that is kind of lifting them from the bottom and keeping them curled without, you know, brushing them out and just drying them like so, and then up at the top of the scalp, giving you a lot of volume and lift. So this side came out pretty well. On this side, I have a few fallen curls. And I think the inconsistency, and I do have like some fallen ones here too, I think that had to do with some of the differences between 
the Curly Pops diffuser and a normal diffuser. So here's the Curly Pops diffuser. This is my diffuser head that attaches to the nozzle of a normal full-sized blow dryer. So obviously you can see that the entire Curly Pops diffuser, which includes the blow dryer, is about as thick as the just the diffuser head that I normally use. So that in itself is nice because this is going to be a lot more travel friendly and just easier to maneuver in general because this at the end of a long nose and then here's the, the uh, handle, it gets really tiring. So right off the bat, I felt like it was a lot faster because I was just like, you know, able to move this around a lot easier. But here's some other differences. So we can obviously tell holding them level, my normal diffuser has much longer teeth than the Curly Pops diffuser, which I think holds on to my pre-twisted curls a lot better as well as the fact that the well or the concave shape in my normal blow dryer diffuser is a lot deeper. So I'm able to really get my curls in there and let them sit without them moving. And I feel like the longer teeth help keep them in and the well gives them somewhere to sit so that way they can stay in their coiled shape while I'm blow drying. Whereas this one does not have as much a, of a dip for curls to just sit. And then with the blowing motion, the teeth aren't long enough to really hold onto that curl. So while I did get some definition, and that definitely has to do with the curl smoothie as well because it does have a little bit of hold, um, I feel like this is not geared for medium to long hair because you don't have that space to let your curls sit and just hang tight while they dry. I would say this is like the max hair length that you can use with this if you want to get more defined curls. If you wanted to just kind of scrunch your hair with this, any length would be fine. Especially, I think if you have shorter hair, maybe bob or pixie cut, this is awesome. This would be like a heaven sent product if I had short hair because there's no point in using a huge blow dryer for shorter hair. You can just use this and get it done really quickly. Now here's the second thing, and this is another reason why I think it is better with shorter hair. So with my normal diffuser, this is at the end of a long nozzle, and then the motor or the fan of the blow dryer is like over here somewhere. Whereas with this, because of the novelty small width, the fan or motor of the blow dryer is literally right under the diffuser. And so my deal with that is, there's obviously holes here, and there's obviously spaces here, that have fan access. So if I'm doing my normal diffuser lift and like a lone hair goes through one of these holes and then again into the hole of the motor, it gets a little a little tugged at. So it only happened a couple times, um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you have longer hair that you run more of a risk with that happening. And I think this product is really geared toward my length of hair and shorter to get just texture, volume, and get it done quickly. Would I use this again? Definitely. I think it was really fast to get presentable hair. Like this is defined enough that I feel totally fine going out like this. I don't feel like I need to do any more styling, but if I really want wanted my hair to be like curly curly, I would either let it air dry because my hair does pretty well air dry and curly, or if I needed to, you know, speed up the process, I'd use my normal diffuser because it is designed to really hold on to the curls. For only around $30 though, this is definitely worth a shot, especially if you do like the textured and volumized look and you're kind of a girl on the go, you don't want to spend a bunch of time styling your hair in the morning. So let me know what you think of this product in the comments below. Do you think it did a good job at keeping my curls together? This is a little bit less defined than I normally like when I do go through the effort of drying my hair, but overall, I think it's a pretty cool product. Let me know what hair products you want me to test in my next Tame My Main video in the comments below, and give me a thumbs up if you like the idea for this series. Just a quick announcement, I'm currently in Israel. This video is pre-filmed, um, but I'm not sure I'm going to get one up next weekend because I'm going to be in Israel still, and I'm just not sure how much time I'm going to have to pre-film one more. So just a heads up, I do make videos every weekend, Probably not next weekend. <laughs> Again, I'm Miranda. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!